change has come. These are the words of Democrat Barack Obama, who America elected as the 44th president of the United States. Obama defeated Republican John McCain to become the first African American to hold the nation's highest office. We have live team coverage. Autry Godfrey is live at McCain headquarters in Arizona. But first, Elizabeth Manresa is live in Chicago, where Obama delivered an inspirational victory speech. Elizabeth. Well, certainly a big day for Barack Obama supporters. You'll remember back in 2004, that's when Obama first burst on the national scene, giving a, a memorable speech at the Democratic National Convention. That, of course, is when a lot of people started paying attention to the young senator from Illinois. Well, fast forward to 2000. All right, people, they still got this chunkin sec, the sexy Chunkindale there. I think I figured out why. Barack Obama is an African-American man. It is a well-known fact that African-American men like their heavy women. Maybe that's why she's there. And Barack Obama has just won the White House and it was here where he delivered his much-anticipated victory speech. A flag-waving crowd of thousands greeted a subdued Barack Obama who took the stage with his wife and daughters. After a kiss for each of them, the president-elect thanked his supporters. It's been a long time coming. But tonight, because of what we did on this day, in this election, at this defining moment, change has come. Hold on a minute, people. Let me go back here a minute. I just noticed something that tells me something. Okay? Now, take a look at Barack Obama's wife and what she's wearing. Now, these are the same colors of a black widow. Now, hey, let me be the first to make fun of the first family, of the first African-American family. I guess Barack will not be doing the same thing as Bill Clinton because uh, that woman seems to mean business. He'll just put a little poison in his drink. A flag-waving crowd of thousands greeted a subdued Barack Obama who took the stage with his wife and daughters. After a kiss for each of them, the president-elect thanked his supporters. It's been a long time coming. But tonight, because of what we did on this day, in this election, at this defining moment, change has come to America. Obama's message of change helped him win key states that traditionally lean Republican. He called Senator McCain a brave and selfless leader and pledged to be a president for everyone. I can... Here's one thing I have to give about this election. For the first time, both candidates showed respect for each other, and there was very little mudsling in between them. They just had a difference of opinion. And that I gotta commend. Obama as well as McCain, but now the now the true grits come out. Is this man Obama gonna do what he says? Okay, yeah, he better looking than most presidents are. He's handsome. He's not one of those old fossils. He seems to have new ideas, even though he's 47 years old. I'm surprised. He looked good for his age, but. Like I said, now we're going to learn if the I promise come true. I congratulate him. I congratulate Governor Palin for all that they've achieved. And I Governor Palin. You congratulate Governor Palin for fucking up McCain. That's the only thing you congratulate him for. I look forward to working with them to renew this nation's promise in the months ahead. About Sarah Palin, I can guarantee you. She's going to disappear with her wee! Oh my god! I'm very Joseph Lima! <laughs> While victory is certainly sweet for the now president-elect Barack Obama, he will inherit huge challenges with the nation fighting two wars and a battered economy. The road ahead will be long. Our climb will be steep. We may not get there in one year or even in one term. But America, I have never been more hopeful 
than I am tonight, that we will get there. I promise you, we as a people will get there. Now, just to give you an idea of the mood here in Chicago, yesterday, hours, I mean hours before the polls even closed, these shirts were being sold on the streets and people... Yep, the only thing I could think of, black men like their big women. That's why she's doing this report. We're definitely snapping them up, so uh, they certainly knew what was in the air. Uh, but certainly a different feeling down in Phoenix, Arizona, where we go to Andrea Godfrey, who is standing by live with the McCain campaign. Andrea. Good morning, Elizabeth. Yeah, no surprise that it's a much more... Ah, uh, ah! Uh, like I said, black men like their big women, white men like their skinny women somber mood here in Phoenix. It was a hard-fought fight that came to an end here at the Biltmore actually just several hours ago, flanked by his wife and his running mate, Sarah Palin. John McCain told a crowd of disappointed supporters that this was his failure, not theirs. As the hours dwindled, so did the GOP's hopes of a McCain-Palin administration. The American people have spoken, and they have spoken clearly. Conceding the greatest race of his career just as the polls closed on the West Coast, the Arizona senator called to congratulate his opponent on his historic win. This is an historic election, and I recognize the special significance it has for African Americans and for the special pride that must be theirs tonight. Look into the future, John. Okay, right there. Right next to him is the reason, one of the reasons why he lost. The other reason is he can't seem to lift his arms over his goddamn head. But right there, Sarah Palin. Jesus Christ, man. Whose idea was it to make her run? She is a bimbo. Okay? Her only job is to fuck her man. That's her real job. Okay? She spreads her leg. Her man does his thing. He does ah, and a baby shoots out. Okay? Governing Alaska is just a hobby for her. And you know what? I think that's where you're going to see her. In Alaska. From now on. They're not going to let her out again. McCain urged Americans to put partisanship aside. You know what? McCain wouldn't have made a bad president. I'm being honest. He wouldn't have made a bad president. But the thing was, Sarah Palin, all these freak rednecks and Kuskos Klam and areas of... Supporting him and all this shit. That's some scary ass shit. You know? But he seems to be a decent man. That's really. That really is concerned about the country. And, and he shouldn't be looked down upon. Because of the idiots that were trying to. Get him in office and doing what they did. And just like he's become known for. Reach across the aisle to work for the betterment of the country. It's natural tonight to feel some disappointment. But tomorrow. We must move beyond it and work together to get our country moving again. I'm giving you a look now at the ballroom floor here at the Biltmore. You can see that though his succession speech was only given a couple of hours ago, they have pretty much already gutted this ballroom. All that's left are just a couple of McCain signs, a handful of news crews, and a whole lot of... In other words, baby, the party's over. McCain lost the election. You're gonna go home. McCain is in the house screaming and crying. Flavio 13 out. 